the shirt. Okay. All right. You, you, yeah, you called me earlier and, and asked me uh, that you or said you had a note on your desk to call. Yes, you yes. Know what it's about. Yeah, I'm Chuck. Not really sure what it's about either. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I know exactly uh, what this is now. So I was cleaning off my desk, and um, I had a note. I had a note on my desk with uh, it said Chuck and your number. So I really had no idea what it was in regards to. I don't know if you um, were trying to reach me at a different point. Oh, yeah, maybe. Okay. It's, um, yeah, I, I do construction, so maybe that's what it was about. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I did you a job or something. Mo most people call me um, that are looking to purchase equipment. So, you know, if they're, you know, working with a vendor um, of some sort and they're looking to purchase equipment, that's why typically people call us. Were you buying equipment recently? Or no, thinking of it? I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it was, it's been a while, I know that. Okay. All right, yeah, because um, what my company does, Everlasting Equipment Finance, uh, we do equipment financing. So we do you know typical monthly terms, one to five years, um, at very reasonable rates. So that's why most people contact me, and we have a lot of vendor partners, so that's probably where it came from. Um, gotcha. Okay. What kind of equipment do you guys have coming up that you're looking to purchase? Um, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing that I can think of. Okay. No, nothing that I can think of. Gotcha. Is that is everything that you have, you know, running pretty smoothly? Mm, yeah. Okay. Pretty much. You seemed a little hesitant uh, there. Maybe, maybe a dump a dump trailer. I'm thinking about maybe, but. I don't know if that's up your alley or not. Of course. Of course it is, yeah. Because we can do anything from $1,000 up to 750000 So it really, you know, we're willing to do the small pieces and we can do the large pieces as well. Um, how, much do you oh, okay. how much do you think? You just do the, fin the financing then on it. Correct. We have a few vendors that we could probably refer you over to um, if you knew exactly what you were okay. looking for. When was the last time you bought a dump trailer? 20 years, man. Like, I've been making this when I was 20 years. <laughs> 20 years. So that thing's been running good for you. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. Are you, yeah. Con are you connected to her? Do you, are, is, are you having a hard time letting her go? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it, it works great still, but it's just rusting away on me. Yeah, yeah. So. All right. And, um, you know, let's just say, for instance, you found the perfect trailer, you saw it, you fell in love with it. Um, you know, what's the time frame that you'd be possibly looking at? Like, if you found one tomorrow that you were like, oh, I absolutely love yeah. it. Yeah, it wouldn't be till spring, I don't think. Uh, okay. But, I don't know, maybe sooner if I found something. Uh, what are your rates on something like that, on a loan that size? Um, rates are all dependent upon, um, you know, credit and risk and term. Credit. But average, we're like anywhere between 6 to 9%. So obviously a newer okay. piece of equipment, rates are gonna be less because the collateral is obviously gonna, you know, hold pretty good value, at least, you know, within the next yep. five years. Um, but right. as far as um, used equipment, you're probably looking at like seven to nine percent, you know, depending upon credit, obviously. Yep. So yep. it's realistic. Right. Okay. Well, uh, tell you what, I'll keep your uh, your number on my voicemail, and uh, the next couple of weeks uh, I'll try to figure what I, what I'm gonna do. Gotcha. Get back to you, Chuck. What's the best email for you? Uh, C at gmail.com. And is this the best number yep. for you? Yep. All right, perfect. Here, what I'll do too is uh, I'll send you over a text message, uh, probably in a few minutes, just with. Uh, Okay. my name and that's my cell phone number call me anytime we also do work in capital as well so if you have any slow periods of time or cust or customers aren't paying you for the jobs that you've done or they're just not paying fast enough give me a call we have a line of credit options as well okay great. Uh, all right chuck well thank you so much it was great making the connection and uh when would be a good time to give you a call back uh just around two weeks from now two weeks all right, perfect, man. I'll give you a call down. It was nice meeting you again. My name is Josh Feinberg with Everlasting Capital. We'll talk soon. All right, Josh. Thanks. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Let's go. Just getting leads. This is Josh. Hi, Josh. This is Carrie going from Kearney HVAC. What, what was the name? Sorry, I missed that. 
That's okay. My name is Carrie, and I'm calling from Kearney HVAC. Oh, hi, Carrie. How are you? Fine, thanks. Josh, I apologize. I didn't get your name in the message, and I don't know what the last name is. My first name is Josh. My last name is Feinberg. F-E-I, N as in Nancy, B as in boy, E-R-G, Feinberg. All right. Um, and I don't know. I, I apologize. I don't have anything on my desk stating that we called you, so I'm, I'm wondering if maybe John gave you a call? Yeah, because John um, probably makes the a lot of the decisions there, right? Correct. Yeah, it's typically who would call me as typical, you know, business owner, CFO, COO. Okay, um, so I will, I'll touch base with, John. was there anything you needed from us? Were we contacting you? Yeah, someone contacted me. I had a note on my desk. I was cleaning it up. It looked a little bit old, so I just wanted to make sure to give the courtesy call back. All right, I really appreciate that. I'm going to touch base with John, see if there was anything that he needed. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's, I think it might have been in regards to um, a new work van or a used work van. Does that sound familiar? Uh, it's, it's highly possible, but I'm, I'm not sure. To be right. honest with you. He's, he's always buying equipment, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah, so um, actually, do you have a cell phone number? Because I'll shoot him over a text just to give me a shout. Yeah, uh, it's 978. All right, thank you so much. No problem, have a good day. All right, you too. So that was a perfect example on, um, as far as being able to use someone that could influence a possible decision making um, decision. So, you know, for her, she was a gatekeeper. She, you know, I've never spoken with her before and she thought, you know, I knew John personally, right? So, you know, in talking with her, me being able to ask the questions of, I think it was in regards to a new work van, because I could see on the caller ID it was an HVAC company. And with the HVAC companies, obviously I know that they use a lot of service vans. So being able to state to her, you know, it was probably in regards to the work van, wasn't it? And she said, it's highly possible. I knew to be able to ask that question. He's buying equipment all the time, isn't he? And she said, yeah, he always is. So, you know, from there I could have just hung up the phone and said, hey, hopefully he calls back but instead I've got the cell phone number and you wanna be able to use this to be able to text him and say, hey, listen, it's Josh, it's about the equipment. So then it kind of gets his mind wandering and he'll give you a call back. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, you know, definitely use, you know, the influencers also known as the gatekeepers to be able to access leads. But yeah, so I'm gonna wrap that up. Um, got some other things that I need to do, but I wanted to come to you guys with some more cold calling. Uh, you guys liked it last time. Hopefully you guys liked it this time. And, uh, you know, you know, with wrapping that up, just be yourself. You know, if you're in a sales position or even if you own a company um, and you're still cold calling, just be yourself. Don't use a script. Don't sound robotic. Have fun with it. And, you know, just keep picking up the phone until you get a lead. Like I said on the last live feed, you know, let's just say you make 100 calls. The average is 3% of the people are going to be interested in what you provide. You know, most people would say 97% of people you know, people cold call 97% of the people won't be interested. For me, I look at that and say, there's 3% of people that will be interested. So if I make 200 calls, I'm going to get six leads. You know, it all depends on how you look at it. Have a good day, guys.